In Washington, hundreds of people rallied at the U.S. Capitol today, asking Congress to extend unemployment benefits for millions of out-of-work Americans. The loss of benefits is one casualty of the Super Committee's failure last week to reach a plan for the debt. FSRN's Matt Laszlo reports on the debate brewing over extending the benefits during the holiday season. If the Super Committee was able to cut more than a trillion dollars from the debt. Democrats hoped to work out a deal that also extended unemployment benefits as a part of the package. But with the committee's failure, now Democratic leaders are scrambling to extend those benefits for millions of Americans. One and a half million people stand to lose their benefits in January, and more than two million people by February. The top Democrat on the House Ways and Means Committee is Sandra Levin of Michigan. These are startling numbers. But from my experience and those of others, what's even more startling, behind the numbers are the people. Behind those numbers are people like Jill Fleming Salapak from Pennsylvania. She's a mother of three and a teacher who holds a master's degree. Yet still, as state, local, and federal budget cuts trickled down, her and her colleagues were left without jobs. Uh, By the end of last school year, I was laid off along with 40 other educators. But it wasn't just the educators that were hitting our district. It was the secretaries, the paraprofessionals, the custodians. It was everyone. Um, A third of our district was laid off, and uh, I feel like many of you that I've done the right thing. Some conservative critics have decried the unemployed as lazy people who are enjoying free money and not looking for work. Besides the fact that Salapak had paid into the unemployment insurance program for decades, she also says her job now is to find work, and that's proving difficult and depressing. Now I spend my days in this awful economy looking for employment, and it's one of two things happen. Either A, there are no jobs available, especially in my field, or B, the jobs that you find are not comparable to the one that you lost, not comparable enough to raise My three children, they don't offer benefits or a decent wage. Republicans say that in order to extend the unemployment benefits, lawmakers need to find a way to offset the price with budget cuts elsewhere. But Democrats argue the benefits are vital for the nation's stagnant economy because they put spending money in the hands of families who otherwise might not be able to pay for their mortgages, heating bills, and buy food. Labor Secretary Hilda Solis says the average $300 payout gets spread far into the economy. These benefits help provide basic necessities to over 50 million people, including 12 million children. Without the extra assistance, experts say the ripple effect falls hardest on the nation's poor and most vulnerable. Texas Democratic Congressperson Lloyd Doggett says it's important for the benefits to be extended in order to help kids in school get supplies and healthy meals so they can focus and participate with their peers. One of the areas hit hardest are our children and our schools across America. One of the main reasons the Super Committee failed to reach a compromise was because Republicans demanded the tax cuts for the nation's wealthiest Americans be extended as a part of the proposal. Now Democrats, like Iowa Senator Tom Harkin, accused the GOP of protecting millionaires at the expense of workers. I hate to inform my Republican colleagues, but Wall Street did not build America. These people built America. Now the parties will spend the next few weeks looking for an acceptable agreement. But Congressperson Levin says unemployment benefits shouldn't get wrapped up in politicking on Capitol Hill. This isn't a subject for horse trading. This is a a subject for action by this institution. Unless Congress acts, the benefits expire on December 31st. Matt Laszlo, FSRN, Washington.